I'm Maggie. I'm Jamie. And we're phone banking and texting for Bernie. It's actually a lot easier than you think to train yourself. All the materials are right on Bernie's website. Almost everybody here an hour ago had never phone banked or texted before. Myself included, even though yeah. I organized, we organized this event. I worked in customer service for 10 years, so I've been, on, I've been getting yelled at on the phones for like a really long time. And what I love about the campaign and the phone banking dialer is that it lets me take these skills that I kind of had to use to like serve this big machine and use them to help transform the machine. I actually hate talking on the phone. It really stresses me out, but I love Bernie and I know that talking to someone and having uh, an interaction that involves voices is more likely to uh, get someone to the polls. So I'm uh, putting aside my fear of talking on the phone and calling Texas and South Carolina today. If you're someone who's anxious on the phone, texting is a really great option. Um, it's literally so easy. It's kind of like a video game. It feels like a simulation. Um, so if you have like any sort of social anxiety, it really won't be an issue. I like love it. It's a great way to feel like you're helping out and getting involved without kind of like making yourself uncomfortable if that is something that makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Like for every two episodes of a horrible reality show oh. I watch, I have to do like 20 minutes of fun. Aww. It's a good system. That is a good system. It keeps your heart honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here volunteering for Bernie today. The two issues that I really uh, like that Bernie Sanders supports are Medicare for All and Student Debt Forgiveness. I'm really excited about Bernie Sanders because of Medicare for All. We have the resources to take care of everyone in this country. Bernie has such a wonderful plan to make Medicare for All a reality. I love that Bernie is committed to increasing the number of union members within his first term. Uh, I think that's a huge important part of making sure that workers have the bargaining power to advocate for the rights that they're passionate about. As a trans person, I myself am very fortunate to have the tools and insurance I need to facilitate my transition and living my best life. I want to live in a uh, country where everyone has those things accessible to them. It's really out of a you know sense of gratitude for what I have that I feel like I need to make sure that we're living in a in a world where, or at least a country where, like everybody has that. So one of the issues that's really important to me is the environment and specifically the Green New Deal. Um, I grew up in a frontline community that is very affected um, by climate change and so it's really important to me to make sure that those communities especially are being prioritized and being protected as well as just saving the entire planet and forcing um, big companies that only stand to profit to be held accountable. I care about Medicare for all because I think all people deserve health care. I'm from a really small town in Missouri and the school in my hometown that I went to is now only open four days a week because the budgets are so slashed. Placing a tax on Wall Street speculation to pay for schools no matter what zip code you live in is really important to me. And also, that's money that will come back to town. Like, that's money that will be spent in the local coffee shop, at the pizza place, at the burger joint. Even beyond electoral politics, I think a Bernie Sanders presidency would give power to workers and help fortify a labor movement, and that would be really cool to see in 2020. I'm, I think, lucky to be in five-figure student debt and not six. Bernie's plan to um, get rid of student debt and make education more accessible for everybody will only stand to make things better. We're late on climate change. Queer people have been fighting for their rights for forever and it doesn't feel like a lot of things are moving forward. We're super out of time, but that shouldn't make us feel bad. It should galvanize us. So here I am.